Hello everyone, welcome to another Wednesday in the Word devotional looking at the Psalms. We're out here in the garden today recording this on Tuesday the 23rd of June and it's a beautiful day and you'll see why we're making the most of that as we look at the Psalm together and Elise wanted to read today's Psalm. We're in Psalm 19, we're going to look at this again next week so this week we're just going to look at the first six verses. So go on Elise, read it to us nice and loud so everyone can hear. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make him known. They speak without sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their word to all the world. The world. The God has made a home in the heavens for the sun. It bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after its wedding. It rejoices like an athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens and follows its course to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. Indeed, nothing can hide from its heat. It is nice and hot today. Thank you, Elise. <laughs> so, I've come outside because Psalm 19 is all about outside and look into the heavens and look into the skies and seeing how wonderful it truly is. Recently, Rachel and I spent the day in London together. Well, not recently, ages ago now, it feels like. We wouldn't be able to do that now, but we did spend the day in London together oh so long ago when you could do that. And when you could go to art galleries, we went to an art gallery and we walked around. And if you're anything like me, uh, you walk around an art gallery and some things you just walk right by because they're not that interesting to you. Um, but some things you end up uh, looking at because they're beautiful or they're intriguing. There's something remarkable about them. So you stop and you look at them. And what you tend to do in that moment is you walk closer to get a closer look and to read the little bit of paper next to it that tells you about it. Because if you appreciate the art, then you want to know about the artist. Who painted this? Who drew this? Who took this picture? Why did they do it? What inspired them? What motivated them? And this first six verses of Psalm 19 show us that we live in a work of art, <laughs> the wonderful creation that we get to witness. And I am recording this on a beautiful day. And you, if you're watching it when I send it to you, are probably watching it on a beautiful day in the United Kingdom, at least. When we get to look around us and see this wonderful creation that we are in, but we can't allow ourselves to just stand back and kind of say, well, it got here by itself. We who know God know that that's not the case. We wouldn't look at a wonderful piece of art and think, man, that just happened. No, we want to get closer. We want to know about the artist and the motivation of the artist. And so I want to encourage you over these few days in the United Kingdom or wherever you are, because it doesn't need to be sunny to help us understand how beautiful creation is but it does help. So if you are in the United Kingdom over these next few days, I want you to allow the wonder of creation around you to inspire you to praise and worship, to motivate you to get a little closer to the picture and look at the artist, look at the creator, consider God and consider his motivation for all of this. <laughs> Some of that's uh, laid out in Psalm 19. The motivation is that the heavens and the skies would proclaim the glory of God. Even though we don't hear a voice from them, it says day after day they continue to speak and night after night they make him known. This wonderful word in which we live makes known and glorifies its creator. Can I encourage you to to step closer and look at the little piece of paper this week, to, to allow the wonder that you have at creation. Maybe you'll just sit some, somehow outside this week or you'll look out your window or you'll go for a walk. If, you, if you're not planning to, do it and engage with the creation around you and read the first six verses of Psalm 19 when you can't escape from the sun's heat. Don't complain about it. Say, oh, this points to the glory of God. The sun points to the Son of God and his radiance and his glory and allow your wonder at creation to become worship of the creator. We're going to learn more about our wonderful creator in Psalm 19 uh, next week when we finish off this psalm together. But for now, can I just encourage you to, to enjoy creation uh, and worship uh, the creator. Allow it to speak to, to his majesty, his might and his wonder. God bless you.